conversation. It's a very good matter to us. So we have met, we are from the opposite um, side of the globe, right? Yes. Because uh, Germany is very far from Nepal. Exactly. So you have come and uh, you have befriended with me and uh, with other Nepalese people. So uh, before uh, starting some formal conversations, please um, give your introduction very briefly. Yes. How would you like to introduce? So I'm Maximilian Leon Dietrich. My hometown is Berlin. I'm only 22 years old and I travel many places and the most favorite place is Nepal. Thank you very much uh, uh, for liking Nepal. So could you tell me uh, which places of Nepal did you visit up to now? Um, so not so many places. Only main time I spent in Kathmandu and then I was of course in Pokhara and I just come from Lumbini, a beautiful place. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you must know that Lumbini is the holy place it is the birthplace of Lord Gautam Buddha. Yes. And uh, though uh, then it is uh, Nepal is the country of that Mount Everest, the tallest peak of the world. Exactly. The Nepal is uh, famous as the name of that one, Mount Everest. Yes. The country of Mount Everest. So please, just now, I would like to know: Did you visit Nepal earlier, or it is your first time uh, in Nepal? No, this is my second time. Um, last year, I was already two months in Nepal. But I never climbed the Mount Everest. Mount you know. Everest. Yes, yes. Would you like to climb Mount Everest? Oh no, no. They, I left, leave this to the yeah. experts. You know. <laughs> right. So for, if you like to climb Mount Everest, you have to take some pre trainings Yes, and exactly. And then you have to be habituated with the cl cold climate. Yes. Anyway, let that. Yeah, the so, cold, cold climate is not the problem. Also, I love to climb mountain, okay. but the Mount Everest is just uh, so special. So oh I, yeah, thank I you. Leave. Well, it's um, tell your best one country people that Nepal a beautiful uh, country of which course. is also a country of Mount Everest and uh, try to encourage uh, to visit Nepal because uh, Nepal especially Lumbini is trying to celebrate it's a planning to celebrate visit Nepal 2020 oh. uh, it's a very precious occasion for the world people people of all over the world because mm. they can visit we are just making Nepalese people we Nepal the government of Nepal has been planning a special plan to visit Nepal, visit Nepal, especially visit Lumbini, mm. 2020. Oh, that's a very precious occasion. Very I'd like good. to tell about that. Okay, thank you. Anyway, mm, so uh, let's uh, change uh, something else. Okay. Uh, let's talk about your family. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Solvi? So, yes, yes. So, please, uh, uh, what sort of family do you have? Mm, what's your family like? Wow. Like an extended or small like? So I have family all over the world now. Uh, <laughs> That's so you are part of my new family. <laughs> yes. But my real family of course is in uh, Germany. I have mother, father, grandparents and I have a brother and a sister. And they are both smaller. I'm okay. the oldest son. Yes. Uh, That's like, so that must be very fun to stay there. Uh, and uh, anyway, um, uh, did your family ever visit Nepal earlier? No, uh, sadly my family did not visit Nepal yet, but I will bring them for sure. Uh, okay. My mother uh, went to Sri Lanka, but she did not went to India yet. Okay, uh, so I have heard that uh, you were born and brought up in Germany, but yes. uh, you just completed your schooling from United States of America. That's right. Please tell me how was your experience there and which course did you study over there in America? Uh, so I studied three years in the United States. Um, I finished at uh, liberal arts college and also I studied business. But um, I enjoy Asia much more. Oh, I right. think now there's more opportunity all over Asia. So I, I love to be okay. now in Asia. Um, just, um, South Asia, in Nepal, especially Nepal is located mm. in uh, South Asia. Mm. Um, have you ever visited other countries of South Asia except Nepal? Yes, I went also to India and Thailand and Vietnam, but mainly I stay in Central Asia, China. Uh, I stay most of my time. Also, Japan and Korea. I really okay. enjoy. That's it. correct. So. Uh, China and India are neighboring countries of Nepal. Yes, the big um, ones in Asia. Big one. Then sometimes Nepal is between China and India, so it's uh, sometimes called a uh, big uh, uh, am between a uh, big two big stones. Yes, yes. big two big stones. It is in middle like that. Yes. Uh, anyway, 
Let's talk about the education system of Germany. Mm. So how is the schooling system of your Germany? Is it so much practical or based well, on theoretical? It's more practical because in Germany we are very proud that you can study and work at the same time. Same time. Yes, that's very good. So you can work and at the same time be learning. So three days you will be working, two days you go to school, something like this. Also education is free, so university will be free in Germany. And um, so I think the German education system is very, That very good. That sounds wonderful. In Nepal also the education system is free for a certain level, mm -hmm. up to 10 class, it's a free. But um, this, um, I hope in coming days, you know, that's a, the government of Nepal will manage the education system for higher free, education, for higher education yes. system, university education, free yeah. of cost. Mm. But uh, it's it to come. Not yes, this, yes, uh, yes. I, I know how it is in America. Yeah, higher yeah. education is also okay. very expensive. Yeah. Um, I have heard that uh, you are very um, fond of visiting wild places, desert places. Yes. I have heard that some of the in Indian forest. You just spent overnight there camping. Yes, so yes. So how was your experience? Oh, uh, I went by myself, so it's always a little bit more dangerous if you're by, by yourself without a local. And uh, it was very good, I really enjoyed it. But my Indian master was warning me of tigers, but tigers. I didn't Bengal see... Bengal tigers. Yes, I didn't see any <laughs> and I'm still alive, so that was a great experience. Actually, um, uh, staying over uh, forest would be so wonderful. But uh, would you like to stay somewhere else in the forest of Nepal, please? Yes, of course. I hope tomorrow I can uh, do right, some far, forest exercise and see the mountains. Actually, uh, Russian days, it is just in summer times, um, sometimes the wild can be cut off for wildfire, mm. so that it can be the danger. Otherwise, yes, yes. staying over the forest would be the good idea. Yes, yes. So also when it rains a lot. It rains like, a lot. Right Last now time it's, it's a hellish storm. There was yes. a hellish storm and that's so we went to Sri Nagar. There was a hellish storm here also in Butol there was a hellish storm oh. yesterday. So if you just make a tent and stay over there, mm. it can be the problems. And other things of all the animals. Yes. So that um, security equipment should be strong. The, the Nepal there are really a lot of wild animals. Yes, wild animals. Nepal is very rich in wild, wild animal sector, wildlife. And uh, there are lots of conservation sectors yeah, and uh, exactly. even the hunting reservation sectors also there are yes, yes. wild animals. But uh, I recommend you in uh, in the peaceful situations, not in person, but uh, if you come in the group, mm. well, that would be the good idea mm. to make a chant and stay there. <laughs> yes, yes, if you're in a bigger <laughs> so group then it's answer. more safe, yes. Uh, that's good. Um, so you were the students of uh, fine arts. Yes, yes, and, and uh, then just also business. Yes. Business. Yes, I think business is more useful than the fine uh, arts yeah. so for me. Yeah. And then how long have you been staying over here in Nepal? Um, not very long. I just arrived uh, this week and I will stay maybe one more two months and uh, I'm planning to return many times of course, yes. Uh, that's a good idea. So now, just you said in visiting forest that gives you pleasure. Yes. Is that yes. all? Yes. So, what part of the forest visiting attracts you most? Just the wild animals attract you most, or the flora and fauna, the vegetation yeah, yeah. of the, the forest? The vegetation, I think, is uh, most important. Yeah, the Obviously, really I'm happy to see animal, but the animal can also be dangerous. So, um, the the for the trees are in the mountain, really climbing to the top of the mountain. If possible, uh -huh. sometimes it's not possible, you know. Uh, just um, that's a good idea. Uh, visiting forest can give you lots of uh, knowledge about the wild animals and plants and other things, uh, creatures, exactly. wild creatures. Um, that's I just uh, would like to say all the best for coming days. Then one day we'd like to see um, Max. Um, Max, yes. Max, yes. what's your show name, please? Would you yeah, like to tell Max, Max Dutch, yes. yes Maximilian, but uh, Max is Max better when it's short. Max, uh, one day, Max uh, would be some of the famous in uh, like a Discovery Channel. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Like that would be very you. great. <laughs> Max, one day, if Max becomes very famous in like a Discovery Channel, I would like to see some of the programs of Max. This yes. is the Max coming. Ma Max Nepali. Oh, <laughs> Max Nepali. <laughs> <laughs> very okay, good. so you are only 22 years old. Um, okay, let's uh, change some things. 
Uh, uh, I don't think that you are married, are you? Not, no, no, not married, so, not married yet. <laughs> no, I have all that in Germany, there is a system of living together also. Yes. Uh, so making girlfriend in Nepal, it's uh, something different. Yes. How is that system in uh, Germany? Would you say something else about the marriage relationship, making girlfriend or living well, together? I system? think with 22 years old in Nepal, you can already marry. Yeah. But in Germany, it's um, later. Like it's I because uh, in like the like context of Germany, you are still a child. You are too yeah, young to get no, married. Yes, I'm too young to get married. Like early 30s, I would say, would be okay. a good time to Just get married. You will get married. So, so you see, guys, uh, this so he is saying that uh, he would like to marry in early foot, uh, early forties. But uh, see in Nepal, they just uh, get married when they are still 20, 22, mm. and they contribute a lot to, to increase the population of the world. That That's is a, very good. <laughs> I like to see that. That's, That's a good. very critical problem. There's so some a problem that we have in Germany: not enough babies. <laughs> okay. Nepal don't have this problem. <laughs> okay. So anyway, please. Um, it's a very nice to meet you. Yes. Uh, well, um, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Robert Gore and uh, Deepak. So well, Deepak, good yes. camera work. Deepak, they are just uh, they are supporting us for camera. Actually, in, um, at last, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, just uh, I'm Mr. Isur Giri. I'm the principal of Active Computer Institute and a teacher of uh, Kanti Higher Secondary School or College, uh, and then Canon Higher Secondary School. And this is Max, and it's a very uh, happy to meet yes, Max. It was a pleasure and, uh, for me. Thank you for you, you guys. You have done the very wonderful job of mm -hmm. taking the photographs, and uh, we have prepared this uh, like a video mm. so that we can guide uh, some of the people who are interested for learning English, especially those people who are unfamiliar with the foreign tongues, yes. and that can help you once more. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, was thank great. Was, I thank really you. enjoyed thank it. You. I enjoyed